in the land of grills, a lot of you have asked, how does a smokeless fire pit work? You know what? Let's find out. All right, so how, how does it work? Everybody wants to know. A lot of people just assume that it does something that magically through filtration or catalytic converters, I've heard people talk about, uh, and uh, charcoal filtration. You know, how, how does these fire pits that call them smoke less, how actually do they work? Now we've got the Brio done. Now this is a Brio live fire, and this is a, a whole new uh, generation of uh, smokeless fire pits that are being made specifically for, you know, so you can have a fire, but more specifically, so you can barbecue over it. And this one's got a lot, of, I mean, I've got a griddle there that's a quarter inch thick. I've got a stainless steel griddle here. This is actually a pizza oven attachment for this. Thing's really cool, it's called the Live Fire. I'll leave the links down below to all that. But right now we're talking about, how, how does this thing actually become smokeless? All right, so when it comes to these, uh, and I think almost all of these smokeless style pits run on the same theory that uh, we're using a, a, they're using a term called reburn where they're having a double wall construction and they're bringing oxygen in and it's heating up from the fire and then it's coming around and reburning, making things efficient. In the barbecue world, you know, we always talk about, we're not looking for the visible smoke. A lot of things, a lot of people think you get a smoke ring from visible smoke. It's actually the clean burning. Some people will actually call it a blue smoke. And uh, it's just a clean burning smoke that gives you the taste uh, that sooty smoke when you first fire it up the grill, that's not where you're getting your taste from. So let's tip this thing up and take a look at the underside. You can see we've got a series of holes and a series of holes right here, which is interesting. And uh, there's actually a charcoal plate. Actually put that on. And this actually holds the charcoal. And um, for this grill, because it's so shallow, you can use charcoal and you can use wood splits but you can see it's making a lot of oxygen come up through the fire, making it efficient. We don't want an oxygen starved fire, it'll be inefficient. The more efficient, the clean, more clean burning it's gonna be, more clean burning it's gonna be, obviously the less smoke. Let's take a look at the underside. All right, so here's the underside of, uh, this is the live fire. And you can get a really good example here. Uh, there's the holes, and this one actually has a venting system where you can open and close it. So when you're done cooking, and I'm sorry about that, you, you close it to shut things down, and they actually have a stainless steel cover that goes over this. But when you open it up, and you can see the inner tub right there, and there's the outer tub. So your oxygen's coming, your air is coming through there, gets heated up, it uh, creates draw, which brings more in, and then that reburn occurs with that heated air coming through. It's a kind of a complicated system, but it's actually simplistic, and it works very well, very efficiently, uh, but uh, there are some limitations. Let's talk about that. All right, so, so there you have it. Now, there are just some disclaimers, and if you read the fine print on any of these that you buy, they always talk about if you're using wood that you should use kiln dried wood or or wood that's dry and they give you a certain percentage below and, you know so it doesn't have a lot of moisture because obviously the moisture makes it burn slower it burns slower it's going to have more smoke uh you know so you've got to watch that too in these uh this one you know i'm going to be using lump charcoal in there tonight actually as i season in that quarter inch thick plate with some thick cut bacon and then i'm going to maybe just do a smash burger on there tom horseman youtube don't forget to subscribe you want to see that i did a tomahawk on here the very first time i cooked on this brio uh, live fire grill and it was a uh, phenomenal so uh check out brio check out tom horseman youtube hope you enjoyed this hope it was helpful leave a comments down below and thanks for watching